This is a 2003 Bailey Ranger 550 six berth. It's got uh, six bunks at the rear. I'll start off by walking you around the outside. Got the vent to the fridge. There's a small, small little mark there, and one here. They haven't broken through. Storage box. Couple of little marks on the door. They're nothing too serious at all. Again, a few little little marks. We walk round the rear. There's uh, no window at the back because of the bunks. Little door there, hatch that opens up to release the toilet cassette for emptying. Mark there, little dent. But nothing bad at all for its age. Alco tow hitch. Space at the front for storing gas bottles. So if we go inside, stable door. And if we just open that like so, you can see that up here, this light screen that comes down. Okay. So we go into the caravan, got the fixed bunk to the right, and they are the width of the caravan, so six feet, two metres long. There's a mirror ahead. And storage across the bank, bunks. And also a little light. And there's some shelving at the back. Nice and handy space. And also beneath the bottom bunk is further storage. Got there the ladders that um give access to the top bunks. And in the photographs on the website you may have seen I did erect the bunks this side. But when they're not bunks it's a little dinette area. Above that again storage cupboards and shelving. Also a privacy curtain that comes round for the bunks. Next to that we have an Electrolux fridge, all nice and clean, with ice box, just lock it, and on the top, space for a TV, you've got the TV aerial point, plug socket, and the controls for the pump, or to turn it onto battery. And above that, another little storage cupboard, and that's the aerial business up there. Then opposite is the kitchen area. Nice handy storage cupboard. That's the submersible pump. A nice sink and drainer with a mixer tap. And next to that, it's got a hob, flooring gas hob. And below that is a cooker. So an oven and grill. Pan, the oven, and pan storage beneath. I'm just trying to see the make spin flow. It's made by spin flow. Why oh, can't make? And then next to that again, I've got pull out drawer. <coughs> it has cutlery in it. Wire racks and space to store the free standing table next to that. Well, something I did miss out is the traumatic heater that provides heat through um, 240 volts or LPG. And above that, we've got the hanging wardrobe cupboard. We move along to the front of the caravan. This area here converts into either a double bed or it could be used as two singles. The little unit in the centre is removable 
you want to make it one very large double bed. This unit also doubles up. There's a coffee table if you don't wish to get the freestanding cupboard out. Sorry, freestanding cupboard table out. All the windows fly screens, black outline, and there's some curtains. Apart from the kitchen, it doesn't have curtains. And again, storage, all these little drinks cupboard above, large shelf, and some more storage. If you go back to the rear of the caravan, I can show you the shower room. This one below the sink. Oops, quite stiff. Then you've got a little sink, vanity sink, and this and fixes up onto there and acts as the shower. Got a curtain to separate it from the Tetford toilet. get wet. And again, there's a mirror. So all in all, a very nice compact 